America's Army started off as a game, but it's really evolved. We have four different sites right now that have full up 360 degree ballistic shoot houses built from the ground up. The environment's constantly changing, a lot more realistic. We retrofit these shoot houses, we go in and mount a camera such as this right here and projector into the ceiling. So when the round penetrates the screen, the light bleeds through and this camera mounted up in the ceiling relays that information back to the game. So this is the javelin weapon system. Put this up to your face and look through it. You find a tank, arm the weapon, charge the missile and fire with your right trigger. This is a Crows, common remotely operated weapon station. The point of this is so the soldier can be inside the Humvee and control the weapon that's up top. Basically, you're playing American Army the video game, but you're using the military hardware. The idea is you want the trainer to be a seamless transition for the soldier when he goes to use the real thing. This is the TOW ITAS missile system. TOW stands for tube launch, optically tracked wire guided missile. So once it's in flight, you can actually control where it goes. So I just come up here and grab it? Yeah, so you just look through here. That's your view. Your right hand is going to have the trigger. It's going to have your laser range finding. And once you fire, you're going to have to keep that crosshair on the tank throughout the full flight path. Cool, I hit it. When these soldiers go into these situations in theater, they don't know what's going to be behind that door. But it definitely ain't going to be no picture. You know, it's going to be real guys in there shooting back at them. And so these software scenarios depict that. This is something that we're actually putting into real equipment and real training that is affecting the soldier in the field. It's just not your typical game. That's the Army Today in Washington.